halfway around the world. The Japanese and United States navies struggled for control of the islands of Guam and Saipan. They clashed in the largest aerial battle between carrier forces ever fought. During this conflict, a recent addition to the U.S. complement of carrier-based fighters came into its own as a force to be reckoned with, the Hellcat. I actually think the Hellcat was coming along uh, very nicely before the Marianas turkey shoot. If you, if you look at the success record, you, you'd see that the, uh, the, it was very favorable for the Hellcat. But of course, the Marianas turkey shoot came along, and uh, that was a giant air battle. Over the Marianas Islands, 450 of the new F-6F Hellcats utterly dominated the skies in this battle achieving the astonishing kill ratio of more than 19 to 1. In one day, they would shoot down 75 or so Japanese planes with the loss of two of their own, and that happened several days in a row, which is why it became to be known as the Marianas Turkey Shoot, because they just wiped the Japanese Air Force from the skies in a matter of days over the Marianas with the loss of very few of their own aircraft. They destroyed several hundred Japanese planes, which is one of the most lopsided, the most lopsided uh, aerial combat of World War II. In the first day of the fight alone, 156 Japanese aircraft were brought down. The Japanese could not withstand the onslaught and were forced from the islands. An armament of six 50 caliber machine guns, up to 2,000 pounds of bombs, and six five inch rockets gave the F 6F unsurpassed firepower. With this overwhelmingly destructive capability, the Hellcat definitively proved its lethal effectiveness against the Japanese Zeros. It also served as valuable support for other fleet aircraft. Without the constant fear of the Zeros' harassment, another deadly Grumman-built carrier plane, the Avenger, wreaked havoc of its own on surface targets, using bombs, torpedoes, and machine guns. closer to striking distance of the Japanese home islands. The enemy suffered a vicious and demoralizing blow, boosting the morale of the American forces. And undoubtedly, a great measure of the credit was due to the Hellcat's stunning performance. The Hellcat quickly became respected and feared, and was soon regarded as one of the world's deadliest aircraft.